U.S. and it passed the one trillion infrastructure bill on Tuesday, which is expected to provide a further boost to the U.S. economy. U.S. material and industrial stock performed well. On the other hand, 10-year U.S. Treasury yield rose three basis points to 1.36%. Banking stock also rose. However, higher yield lock favored tech stocks, which turned weak on Tuesday. The three major U.S. stock index closed mix on Tuesday. The Dow rose 0.5% to close at a little high, but the Nasdaq index fell 0.5%. On the other hand, although U.S. dollar index still rose 0.2% to 93.1%, commodity price still performed well on Tuesday. Oil and copper price rose 2.7% and 1.5% respectively. Regarding Hong Kong market, Hong Kong Stock Connect com- continued his lead info on Tuesday. Total lead buy reached 5.5 billion Hong Kong dollars, which is mainly on Tencent and, and Meituan, providing support to the Hong Kong stock market. However, EV, New Energy, and Hong Kong stock exchange retreat in the past two to three trading days, reflecting Hong Kong stock market is just set up rotation. Fun flow into legacy stocks only. Besides, market turnover does not improve. Hong Kong stock market's short term momentum is limited. Hence, an index resistant level is at 20 day moving average around um, 2,698 points. Um, COVID-19 pandemic worsen in many countries from fall into medical stocks, um, of which market leader Wu Se Bao um, doubles to six line also rebound recently, which it, which it could overcome the resistance at recent share placement price at uh, $129. On the other hand, Evergrande um, say that it might sell stack in EV and property management business. Evergrande services rose to $6.7 on Tuesday. However, refer to the Long Gong Dress Bond case, property management companies usually show at a PE valuation of mid teen only. Despite anticipated short-term speculative interest, investors should not be too aggressive. Evergreen surface share price major resistance is at $8. For the stock pack, uh, today we choose the China Telecom, uh, 7 to 8. Income profit rose by 27% year on year. After deducting one time investment income, China Telecom recurring profit still increased uh, year on year, which, is, which was significantly faster than the 10.6% profit growth in the first quarter. In fact, the group first half mobile revenue increased 6.9% year on year. In addition, China Telecom actively promotes digital application platforms and related revenue increased by 17%, of which the car business performed extremely well. In addition, the group will soon be listed on HJS. His dividend payout ratio will rose to, seven to seven, 60 to 70%. Uh, we set a target price at $3.2 Hong Kong dollars and a stop loss price at $2.65 Hong Kong dollars. Thank you.